Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm bringing you a one of my favourite binoculars, a new model I wasn't familiar with, I wasn't aware of the brand. It goes by the name of GPO, which stands for German Precision Optics. <clears throat> These are the Passion HD 10x42 um, gear stores hunters birders and the um, most sort of binocular users that are looking for great quality glass in a fantastic body armor with a great focus wheel with excellent German engineering now these are made in Japan uh, these are the top of the range from GPO they stand at 999 euros which is roughly equivalent to about 835 pounds in the uk they're just beautifully made as you can see the quality is fantastic let me just turn them around so you can see we have gpo german precision optics on the side we have engraved German precision optics and if we turn them around just bear with me we have a serial number also engraved on the back these are extremely comfortable to hold in the hand the focus wheel is very responsive not too fast not slow somewhere in the middle let's just put these down I can show you how they stand and also so we can all appreciate how these eye cups click into place just keep your ears open and listen to the clicks let's hold it down just two seconds okay let's go there and we've got one and two one two Firm. They lock into place with no issues whatsoever. We have a 24 millimeter eyepiece, so nice and wide. Um, the focus wheel is also a locking diopter, so you pull it up, you can hear the click, you go through your focusing for the right diopter, and each turn has a click with it. I don't know if you can hear it, but let's just go through it one more time. Actually, let's wait for this plane, flight aircraft to pass. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Brilliant. Lock it back down. Um, so they come with this uh, front lens cover that you won't be able to lose because they are attached by a string to the body hinge uh, to the body uh, to the barrel sorry um, this hinge here is very thin which keeps these binoculars quite light it gives you plenty of space to put your fingers in between the two barrels whilst you're holding them the uh, eye cups are made out of aluminium the uh, body is magnesium and the focus wheel is made out of hard plastic but it's incredibly smooth the way it moves um, front lens covers and it comes with this beautiful let me show you nicely padded let's put them down nicely so you can see nicely padded neck strap really nice very very good quality if you're interested in seeing the uh, unboxing of this particular pair just go on to youtube and i think there's a channel by the name of trade optics they unpack these things and uh, this being an alpha model uh, top of the line the unboxing experience is absolutely second to none really beautifully presented craftsmanship from the box to the inside foam to the actual hard case that it comes with Everything is top-notch. It's what you expected, the same level as from Zeiss, 
Conquest and above, all the way to the SF and the Swarovskis. Now I think enough of um, introduction of the way this binocular looks, I am more interested in showing you guys how the views are through this glass. Warning, I am almost biased towards this pair now because I have looked through the Zeiss Conquest, the SF, the Swarovski EL and this pair delivers optical quality uh, on par with the top level uh, SF. I, in my opinion, it's got better quality uh, glass than the Conquest uh, HD by Zeiss in the 10 by 42 as well configuration. So um, I think without further ado, let's just dive into the eyepiece, uh, look at the quality of the uh, images through this uh, Passion HD 10 by 42 so um, let's just dive into the eyepiece we're gonna be looking at my um, bird feeder I can see some gold finches in there and hopefully pan to the left and right and just to show you the contrast um, through the Passion HD 10 by 42 show you the color accuracy it's a fairly sunny sort of a nice sunny day here which really isn't ideal for testing binoculars but what can you do it is sunny it is what it is so let's just dive in whilst that uh, goldfinch is still sitting still there let's get let's get the focus into play so just bear with me please and there you go beautiful edge to edge sharpness is fantastic on the HD. The colors are vibrant, they pop, and the center of the image is really, really nice and sharp. There's plenty of contrast, and believe me, the camera does not do it justice. You have to see it for yourself. Look through these to understand how good this glass is. Um, there we go, we're just panning keeping that bird on the edge of the field and as you can see it's really nice and sharp do my best here to give you that full field of view at the bottom of the image you can see it does tend to fall out just a little bit perhaps the last five percent but apart from that the image is really nice and sharp all across and most importantly for me personally is the contrast level in this picture and the sharpness I mean not having a bin a binocular that you know can be sharp that is just pointless isn't it uh, this is why you pay the extra money is to get that extra sharpness and more contrast these really do come to their own uh, at dusk and dawn I mean I've compared these to other sort of my benchmark 10 by 42 <clears throat> ED model and this just leaves them behind um, the light transmission in tw around twilight is phenomenal you get so much light coming through these um, you retain that contrast whereas other binoculars and ED models start to become mushy and not much resolution uh, in the image but these just retain that beautiful sort of colors and contrast all the way through let's just pan out a little bit here <clears throat> let me move up to this particular tree that i really like it's got beautiful colors but then we are slightly out of focus here now because i need to refocus the image so just hold down a little bit very difficult to oh, let's get back into sharp focus there i think we're there about oh here we go now we have a nice sharp focus there let's get back into it there you go beautiful um, whilst we're on this in this angle i'm just going to lift the binoculars up a little bit and just go into this chimney over here and let's just try and refocus as well here there you go tack sharp image look how vibrant is the moss on that roof the fine details of those lines in the chimney is wonderful really really sharp 
no chromatic aberration as far as I can see in the center. There's plenty of sharpness in the edge. Even at the bottom of the field, we're retaining good clarity there. Again, the last few percentage of the image becomes blurred. But look at the top of the chimney. Look at the bottom of that roof. Amazing. Uh, this level of performance is really obtained at around 2,000 pounds or 2,000 euros from Swarrow and Swarovski uh, and uh, Zeiss SF. Um, this, in my opinion, outclasses the Zeiss Conquest in every aspect. And you are spending a 200 pound less as well. So you don't just get a binocular that looks much nicer, a lot more modern, but also it does have a much better quality glass here. That's what we're looking at guys, in the distance. Because it's a sunny, beautiful day here, a lot of you might turn around and say, well, this is a perfect day um, to for any binocular to perform really well. So what I'm going to do here is, the sun is right there, straight in front of me. So I've got the lenses of this bino facing the sun, and I'm going to look through the EP to see if these, there's any glare at all and how well this can suppress any veiling glare and uh, imperfections in the optics. So let's have a quick look. Let's see if I can get this, get any focus on this. Onto the, this is quite difficult, hand to hand, really tough. Right, here we go, almost there. There. So we've got looking in the distance right there. And as far as I can see, that is still very, very clean. This is an incredibly challenging scene for any binoculars, and I wouldn't lie, I, see, I think I can see some chromatic aberration on those branches. But then again, this is an extremely difficult scene. Oh, here we go, no. Well, it is the placement of the, uh, the phone lens that's caused that chromatic aberration to be aggravated, but um, I can't see any at the moment. And that still looks tack sharp. There's no veiling glare creeping in at all. There's a chimney right there, which is going to be very, very difficult to show. Um, well, forget about the chimney because this is hand hand and very difficult to do. Let's go back to the leaves here. Let's get this into place. There you go. You see the bottom of the image is nice and clear. There's no no feeling glare glare creeping in, which is a fantastic news. That means the coating applied to these front lenses is doing an amazing job. This dog is not stopping. I don't think he likes my review. <laughs> anyway, that's what we were looking at, guys. Let me just refocus so you can see. That's an incredibly challenging scene. The sun is right up there and these bad boys <clears throat> are doing a great job. So guys, what do I think of the GPO Passion HD 10x42? Great looking binoculars. I mean, to start off with, they look really modern, great, really grippy, just beautiful to handle. The weight is perfect. Um, the size, I think, is, is really good. Uh, optically, I think they're wonderful, wonderful glass to look through. I'll take them out with me any day, every day of the week. Um, in terms of price, I think they're incredibly competitive. Uh, if you're thinking about going Zeiss Conquest, definitely give these a shot. Find a dealer, go and test them for yourself. Uh, and if you have, obviously, you can find a Zeiss nearby, then that'd be, um, that'd be great. That way you can make a formal comparison. They, there was one thing I haven't mentioned earlier is that they do have good eye relief. Um, I wear glasses myself. These are got 17 millimeters eye relief. So more than adequate for anyone wearing um, spectacles. The IPD is also very good. Uh, like I said, again, these eye cups are just a dream to use. They lock into place and won't go anywhere. The accessories are brilliant. The warranty is good as well. I think they have 10 years and they just look sensational. Really, really nice pair of optics from GPO, 
Passion HD. Stay tuned in because I think what I'll do next is I'll review the ED model in 10 by 42 which also is a, um, a good pair of binoculars. This is my own pair. Um, this is not uh, an advertisement to, uh, well, it's, this is not a sponsored review by GP or anything. It's my own pair, I bought it with my own money. Um, it's, yeah, brilliant. I think uh, it's a good investment and I'm glad I found this brand because they do know what they're doing, especially if the owners, well, or the owner of this GPO uh, company is the ex um, CEO for Zeiss. Uh, Optic, optics uh, in Germany and I believe he was also the uh, R&D for their Conquest NSF model um, there you go so Passion HD 10 by 42 if you like this video and you want to see more content please do subscribe uh, hit that notification bell and let us know in the comment below if you have any questions with regards to these I'm more than happy to answer them if you uh, want to find one to trial or if you are nearby near me i live in northwest london you're more than welcome to come and give them a test drive i'm uh, more than happy to uh, let anybody interested in these to come and look through them thanks you thanks folks and uh, see you on the next one